Hey guys and girls, in this video, we're going to take a look at the best drawing tablets. This list is based on my personal opinion and tons of research, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we'll have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the tablets in the video, just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. Once we reach 1000 likes, we will pick a winner and notify him. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best drawing tablets on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Geomon PD-1560 15.6 Drawing Tablet. It's hard to know what's more exciting about the Geomon PD-1560. The gloriously large 16x9 drawing surface or the intelligent pen with 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. If you can't think of a better way to spend a day than hold up in the studio creating gorgeous digital paintings, then this is a terrific buy. It's easy to set up just the way you want it with 10 shortcut keys that can be customized to streamline your workflow. However, if you like to create on the move, then this isn't the one for you. Given that it weighs more than 1.5 kg and lacks the wireless functionality of some of the sleeker tablets available. Number 9. Wacom Mobile Studio Pro 13 If you have the budget, the Mobile Studio Pro 13 offers everything you could want in a drawing tablet, with a choice of Intel Core processors and solid-state drive storage capabilities, it's a fully-fledged Windows computer, but it also benefits from the same technology Wacom brings to its Cintiq Pen display range, making the Mobile Studio a pleasure to draw with. And if you want, you can even tether it to the more powerful PC or Mac in your studio with the optional Wacom Link. A 16-inch Mobile Studio is also available. Coming in at number 8, Huion H640P. The first Huion drawing tablet on our list is the H640P, which boasts a comfortable drawing experience in a convenient size for travel. If you work between studios or like to draw from a laptop on the move, you'll need a drawing tablet like this that packs away handily but still lets you draw with expression. The Huion H640P measures just 10.2 by 5.8 inches and is no thicker than a smartphone but offers a set of shortcut keys as well as its drawing area. Coming in number 7, XP Pen Deco 03. XP Pen's Deco tablets blend style with functionality and the Deco 03 is no exception. This matte black ultra sleek model doesn't only look good but also feels good to use thanks to its well-made pen and gorgeous drawing area. It's well designed in a workflow sense too, with customizable express keys and a multi-function dial in the top corner that allows you to set up things exactly how you want them, so you can spend less time fiddling and more time drawing. Drawbacks? Well, you can be justified in worrying that at 8mm the Deco 03 is a little too slim, to the point where a moment's carelessness might cause damage to it. If that doesn't worry you, this is a great buy for a great price. Number 6. Wacom Cintiq 16 While not as affordable as some of its rivals from XP Pen and Huion, the Cintiq 16 Creative Pen Display, Wacom's 2019 entry-level tablet, is still much more attractively priced than many of its expert-oriented siblings. In the entry-level market, it also has a trick up its sleeve in the form of the Pro Pen 2 Stylus, which tops out at 8,192 levels of sensitivity, beating many similarly priced tablets. We found a lot to like about this device, especially its gorgeous display that shows off all the hallmarks of Wacom's quality. It's really encouraging to see Wacom entering the new user space with a price point to match. And the Cintiq 16 is a welcome example of a Wacom tablet that doesn't require absolute fistfuls of cash to acquire. This is a fantastic entry point for any designer. 
Coming in at number 5, Huion H430P. If you're not sure whether a drawing tablet is something you'll use regularly enough to justify the cost, the H430P gives you all the basics without requiring a big investment. The drawing area is small, yes, but the pen is sensitive enough to give you a true sense of the creative benefits drawing tablets can bring. It may not take long before you outgrow this tablet, but it's a very affordable way to get started. Coming in number 4, Wacom Intuos Pro. When you're creating artwork, you want room to sketch freely and a pen that feels as close as possible to the paper equivalent. You'll find both in the Wacom Intuos Pro large graphics tablet. It's one of the purest drawing experiences you can get from a digital device. The pen provides over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity and a drawing area that, while it's not the biggest available, gives you more than the area of a magazine to play inside. All this is supported by a Wacom's broad ecosystem of alternative pens and texture sheets to give your drawing surface a distinctive feel. It also comes in a medium and small size if you need smaller versions. Number 3. Wacom One Wacom's newest tablet launched at CES 2020, the confusingly named Wacom One, not to be confused with any previous Wacom Ones, is an excellent and portable 13-inch tablet at an extremely competitive price point, no doubt designed to tempt users away from the cheaper brands like XP Pen. Its full HD display provides 72% NTSC color and an anti-glare treated film. The tablet even comes with little legs for standing up when you're out and about and want to quickly get some ideas down. An ideal tablet to slip into your day bag, the Wacom One provides a great drawing experience without costing the earth. Coming in number 2, XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pen Display. All the basics you could want from a pen display are covered by the XP Pen Artist 15.6, a reasonably sized drawing area, a comfortable pen with plenty of sensitivity levels, and a good screen. You don't get quite the attention to detail or the advanced ecosystem of extras that Wacom provides, and the offset between the stylus tip and the on-screen cursor takes some getting used to. But this remains a pen display that can transform your digital creativity without breaking the bank. Number 1. Wacom Cintiq 22 For our money, the balance of a huge drawing area, a sublime drawing experience, a highly sensitive stylus, and a budget-friendly price makes the Wacom Cintiq 22 the best drawing tablet on the market right now. It comes bundled with the Pro Pen 2 offering a class leading 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and its well engineered screen has an anti glare surface that provides a satisfying level of drag when drawing. Cheaper alternatives are available from other manufacturers but this tablet provides Wacom level of quality at a tremendous price. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best drawing tablets. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments, what is your favorite one? And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.